Greetings, everybody. Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Trap. So I just wanted to share this with you today. Um, I did go to the river. Today is May 18th, 2019, of course. And we're at the spot where the, um, the old river channel is now charged and the main river channel is now, I mean, literally trickling. It's just, it's sad. All of my um, bedrock pockets have been completely buried. I mean, they're just buried, so much overburden. But I put the knockoff GoPro on the shovel today. I wanted to get a look at this bedrock down in here because it's exposed a whole bunch of new stuff. And where I'm headed right now, when I put the shovel in the water, we're going to be looking at a crevice that I did last year and ended up put, pulling out a, a good size picker right here. What we're seeing right there in front of us to the left where them rocks are jammed in, that wasn't exposed last year, so I never even touched that. It's right up in about where you see that brown rock. Now it's underneath the shovel. But I did that crevice and it just kept going and going and going and going. I couldn't get to the bottom of it. But I pulled quite a bit of gold out of that thing. So today I just wanted to get a good look at this and figured I'd share it with all of you. And I mean, look at these boulders in here. It's just amazing. I mean, that's a major drop off point right up against that big bedrock wall. Any of you that watched my videos last year, there was a, a mama duck. I kept. She was up on that bedrock ledge, and she had little ones, and it was pretty cool. But right there is like a cave that goes in and under that big red bedrock wall. And right to our right here in this area is a major V, and the water slows down, but that's on an inside bend. So the, the current's going straight ahead of us now and then going to the left down the river. So that's a good spot. I just I can't wait till this water warms up when I can get in there and really start moving some of these rocks and getting down to the bottom of the bedrock. It's going to be great. But so far I haven't found hardly anything down there. It's I have to locate the gold all over again. It's just amazing. I mean I'm just seeing things that I didn't see before. Even right there with the bedrock, the way it's formed. And now we're going out towards the middle of the river where there's, well not the middle, but there's a big bedrock bowl right out in here, right down in there. That would be a good drop off point too. I mean, yeah, it's kind of in the flow, but any bigger gold getting to that point, it's just going to drop right down in there. So that's the underwater view, and I guess that's it for now. Take care.